Today is December 4th. Today's quote is, Pain fades, lessons may remain. Pain fades, but hopefully the lessons you learn will remain. Many times I like to point out, I have pointed out, and I will continue to point out to devotees a very important lesson. That Krishna has created this world in a way that there is some pain because pain is a reminder of our condition that we are not supreme enjoyers. You know, if there's no pain and there's only material happiness and material pleasure, it's very difficult to realize that I am not the supreme enjoyer, or at least I'm not some kind of enjoyer. But when there's pain, when things are not perfect, then we can more readily realize that we are not enjoyers. In fact, we are sufferers because we suffer a lot. When I was in South Africa, it was 1981, and very difficult for white people to join because life in South Africa for white people was incredibly nice, a very wealthy country, the black people were segregated. They were not given good jobs that enabled the white people to exploit them. And in that exploitation, the white people became very wealthy. The black people served them for a very small salary, did their cleaning, did their gardening. Most homes had swimming pools. It was an incredible life. But the problem was very few white South Africans became devotees. And even after they did become devotees, those few who did found it difficult, many of them found it difficult, or I'd say most of them found it difficult to stay in Krishna consciousness because they'd come from such a, a comfortable life, a life where suffering was greatly eliminated. Now things have changed in South Africa. There's equal opportunity for black people. The life of white people is not what it used to be. It's more equal. And the white people are experiencing, you could say, quote unquote, a more normal life which is a more normal life, is replete with challenges, difficulties, suffering, and so forth. And now many, many white people are becoming devotees because they have a different lifestyle. It's much easier for them to become devotees. So I think we can all realize that if everything is perfect, everything is just ideal and nothing goes wrong, it could actually be a problem to be Krishna conscious in that situation. That's why... Krishna says we have to tolerate happiness. And you think, tolerate happiness? Why? Well, that doesn't make sense. Because it can go to our head. It can make us forget that we're actually suffering. We can easily forget we're growing old. We can easily forget we're dying when everything is really nice. The Prabhupada joked, there's no happiness here. But if there is, it's in Hawaii. So perfect weather, everything's nice. You forget, you can forget. <laughs> that it is actually not perfect. So, if there is pain, and we get a lesson from the pain, that's good, and we're fortunate, and we should take advantage of that, and we should thank Krishna. Well, thank you, I needed that. And I think, if we're all honest, we all can admit that we need a little pushing, we need it not to be perfect, we need, uh, yeah, we need a little nudging. I just. I just had um, a little skin cancer cut out of my shoulder. And so there's an incision and a, some stitches there. And um, I had some bad karma this evening. I hurt my foot walking, I don't know how. And then I banged right into my bruise on the wall, somehow or other. I have special Shakti for hitting the wrong places on my body. And a nice reminder that I'm situated in a material body that does sometimes have pain. So I wasn't upset. I was just, yes, thank you, Krishna, <laughs> for reminding me. And there'll always be somebody <laughs> to say something <laughs> that's upsetting or disturbing to remind us that we don't live in paradise. And there'll always be challenges and things don't work out. And you know how that goes. So it's all good if we take it in the right way. Use it as an impetus to help us become detached and again realize that we actually need this.